I'm Angel Marie, Creator Educator at ConvertKit, here to talk to you all about email marketing funnels, how to build them, and why you should. Let's dive in. What do you think of when you hear the term sales funnel? Maybe it sounds a little too markety, a little too salesy, or even feels a bit too intimidating to incorporate in your business, but it doesn't have to be. More than likely you're watching this video because you're a creator, whether you currently are now or you want to be in the near future. That means you have this incredible idea and voice that's worth sharing with the world. And one of the best ways you're gonna be able to accomplish that is by running your business on autopilot through the use of email funnels. An email funnel refers to how your customer moves through a sales pitch. Now this is crafted by you selling your products through educational content and being persuasive. There are three main steps that occur in the journey of your potential buyer as they move through your email funnel from beginning to end. Number one, they subscribe to your forms or landing pages and therefore you gather that email subscriber. Number two, those subscribers then get useful, well-timed, targeted emails by you based off of their interests and therefore you build trust and authority with them. And number three, those subscribers turn into customers. Now you might be thinking, okay, Angel, but why? Why will this help me run my business on autopilot? Why should I spend energy creating email funnels? The reason is because email funnels will help you generate passive income in your creative business in less time. And the idea of creating email funnels is actually a lot easier to grasp than you might think. Let me show you how easy by walking you through a quick demo in ConvertKit. To begin creating your email funnel in ConvertKit, the first step you're going to take is to head over to the automations tool in the menu bar. With this visual automation builder, you can send timely targeted content to your subscribers that builds your relationships and makes that sale. Hence being able to easily create your email funnel. Next, you'll choose how you'd like to begin your funnel. We're gonna start off by creating a form to gather email subscribers. So I'm gonna head down here to plus create a new form. And then from there, it's gonna ask me, how do I want to gather subscribers? Through a form or a landing page? Now a form is gonna be embedded on your website or your sales page. So whenever you see on a website where you can put in your first name and email address with a submit button on it, you've just come across an opt-in form. Now think of a landing page as an opt-in form on steroids. <laughs> Instead of embedding a small opt-in form on your website, you can use a dedicated landing page that leads to your email funnel. So let's go ahead and choose one of our landing page templates. There are definitely plenty to choose from. So go ahead and pick the one that you feel best suits your business. From here, you're gonna customize your landing page with text, images, and color. I'm just gonna head up here to name my landing page to start off. Side note, one of the best ways to gather subscribers to encourage them to sign up is to offer an incentive, something of value. This could be a freebie, something that will help bring them results. So let's say in this demo, I'm gonna be offering a free goal setting workbook if someone signs up on this landing page. I'm then gonna head down here and change out my headline this might say something like how to create goals in less time, how to accomplish goals in less time. And then down here in my subtitle, I can also get rid of what is automatically already put on here. And instead, I might just write in different pieces of content. Maybe I'm introducing myself. Maybe I'm letting them know the value that they'll be getting if they sign up to get this goal setting workbook. You'll also notice a plus button that pops up on the left-hand side where you can add creative components such as, such as images, buttons, a gallery, links, social media icons, your Instagram feed, a video, a lot of creative components that you can include on this landing page. Now, when you go up here to the editing wand tool, you can change out the background color, you can change out the content background, the header background, or the box background as well, located at the bottom of this particular template I've chosen. You can either copy and paste branded colors that you already have here, or you can play around with the color wheel to get a feel for the kind of color that you'd like. You can also include an image of your incentive. I'm just gonna click right here, head to choose an image, and I can upload any image that's on my desktop 
or I can choose from a variety of high quality photos in Unsplash. You can even connect your Instagram account and automatically pull photos on your feed. For now, I'm just gonna go to uploads and click on an image that I already have prepared and ready to go. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is to include your actual gift, include your actual incentive. So I'm gonna go down here to the mail icon, head to download, click on choose a file, and upload the freebie that I am giving away in exchange for someone else's email address. Now let's say it's not a download or a ebook or any kind of printable. You could also include a URL, like a URL to a free workshop or a free training, anything like that. Next, you're gonna head up here to edit email contents because this incentive email is what they're automatically going to get from you as soon as they click the sign up today button. I'm gonna go down here to edit email contents. You'll see that it automatically has a confirm your subscription wording in there. I'm just gonna delete that and instead say goal setting workbook inside so that they see this email in their inbox and they recognize that they're getting this gift from me right away just for taking the action to sign up to get the workbook. So I might say some additional pieces of content right here. I might head down here and instead of it saying confirm your subscription, I would say get your goal setting uh, workbook here. And that way they know that they have to click on this button in order to get their download. And even with this button, you can change out the color or the text color, add in creative components just as we did on the actual landing page editor. When you're done with that, you're just gonna click save. When you feel like your landing page is good to go, you've designed it the way that you wanted to, you've included your incentive, head up here to save and publish. So now that we've built our landing page, let's dive deeper into creating the rest of your funnel. So far, this visual automation is telling me that I've created my landing page. Now it's showing me what else do I want to happen in this funnel. I'm gonna head down here to the plus button. I'm gonna make sure it's on action and I'm gonna choose email sequence. Now, if you're not sure what an email sequence is, it's a series of emails that are automatically sent. So from here, you're going to either create a brand new sequence by typing in the title or clicking on the one that you've already previously created. So to create a brand new one, I'm just gonna type in goal setting sequence, press enter and click add action. Now it's telling me that these two are connected. Whoever subscribes to my landing page will not only get that goal setting workbook incentive automatically from me, but they'll also automatically be sent a series of dedicated, well-timed, useful emails from me, right on autopilot. Now, when you click on this email sequence, you're gonna see everything that is involved within this particular sequence. On the left-hand side, you can add as many emails as you'd like within the sequence. The main thing to keep in mind here is to ensure that each email within the sequence is all about building trust, building personable relationships, and therefore leading up to your initial sales pitch. So the first, let's say five emails are gonna be building trust and authority. Maybe because I gave them my goal setting workbook for free, I'm gonna be writing different emails all about how to set goals and how to accomplish your dreams, all for the purpose of that last email or the last few emails pitching them on that actual sale. And maybe that sale is to work with me as a business coach or to join my Achieve Your Dream course. Whatever it is that I'm selling, I would pitch it towards the end. Now, when you're ready to automate this uh, email sequence, just make sure the status of every single email is set to active. Make sure you choose when you want each email to send after the last email. And then from there, you're gonna click save all. You're gonna turn this entire automation from paused to on, and you are good to go. You've just created your very own email sales funnel. And that's how easy it is to create your very own email funnels and generate passive income for your business. If you'd like to give it a try, you can sign up for ConvertKit for free by heading to the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.